Hi guys, welcome to my video. Hope you're having a wonderful day. It's Friday, almost there. We're almost there. Right, I've got this um, package delivered today. It's a, um, it's a, I've got all the tools that I need to be honest, but I just found this one a little bit interesting and I thought, well, I'll share it with you. It may come in handy, it may not, um, but I'm gonna show you um, what's what I've ordered. So let's, let's have a quick look. A box and then we got another box so yeah it, it will get better i promise so it's a uh, a chardon 122 piece precision s4 nintendo xbox ring made in china so it's uh, it's a little toolkit and i ordered um red red is my favorite color uh, and black actually uh, so you can get different colors uh, the, the actual link to the description is, is below uh, this is a screw memory mat. I assume it's uh, it's magnet magnetic. Let me see if I've got a screw here. Um, yes, it is. That's actually quite useful. That is very useful, actually. And um, yeah, so I've never seen one of those before, but never needed one. Uh, so let's have a look. It's 122 pieces. It will have, uh, by the looks of the, the picture, it will have a tool for any device that you're working on. So let's have a quick look. Uh, oh, I mean, it's all sealed up nicely, so there's a few holes there. So yes, I do like the way it's uh, presented, actually. Get this stuff in my bin. So we have two sides uh, to the box. Um, it's like a lot of people as well, to be honest. But anyway, uh, that's another, another story for another day. So we've got some bits here. We've got a, a magnetizer, and it's with some extra additional bits. These are uh, I don't know what they are actually. It doesn't say what they are. They're uh, T6H. So we've got a magnetizer here, which um, and a shard. What the hell is that shard for? But I don't know where that's come from. Well, it's come from the box, but we've got these prizing tools, uh, which I never will use. Uh, I may use these ones, and they won't last long, trust me. These ones, I never use them. I just cannot get into stuff with them. Um, but you never know. I'll use them and they'll break, and then I'll, you know, end of the day, I've used them. Uh, and we've got these these tools here as well. These ones are pretty good. Some MacBooks, some computers, um, keyboards and stuff have little uh, nuts, which you can't get to. So this is great for that. And what I like about this actually, it's got pictures for all the different types of um, heads that are there. So you've got the the Torxes, you know, you've got the Philips heads. Um, yeah, a lot of these are, are for the Nintendo, Xbox. Um, yeah, there's one there as well to take out nuts. Got tools like this one. That, uh, yeah, I don't know what that's called, but I've never used one before. And, and the triangle ones, I've never seen one of them. That's an unusual looking uh, tool. But anyway, I mean, it covers, I mean, the good thing is it covers almost everything, which is it's great. Um, the lid is quite good. You can hang it up on, on the wall. Uh, I will hang it up on the wall. I've got a slap board everywhere. Um, and this is the where all the screwdrivers are. So we've got a a, uh, a SIM card removal, tra uh, SIM card a tray removal pin, which is there, which is uh, always handy. We've got a, uh, a screen puller, which again um, probably will never use, but it's there. We have some more prizing tools. Um, yeah, they'll always come in handy, and they'll break, and then I'll chuck them away. Uh, that's one I don't have. That looks quite like a good one, uh, but I've always got these. I've got a tray full of them, which I never use. Put that back in there, and that goes in there. We've got the, the actual screwdriver itself. I uh, hope the top end. Ah, yeah. See, that's what I like. So you can you can rest uh, the actual top of the the handle in your palm. As you're turning, this part will not move. So you can literally because uh, when you have a moving screwdriver, it can dig into your palm. And it can be a little bit annoying. Um, now to remove um, this adapter. Ah, that's pretty neat. Okay, so you can have different lengths. So if you wanted a longer 
which is quite good if you're working a PC and you want to go down, you know, um, from the top, you don't have to put your hand all the way in, you can just adjust this and uh, move it like so. Uh, so let's have a look. And we've got a pair of tweezers, which, um, well, they're okay. You couldn't uh, pluck an eyebrow with them if that's what you think you want to do with them, but that's not going to work. Um, but the tweezers you want are these precision ones. Again, there's a link below in the description for the ones that I use. So let's go over to the other side. Let's get one of these, one of these out. Let's have a look. How good they are. And what I like about it is it's uh, it's magnetised. Um, and if it's not, you've got the magnetizer. So uh, where's the screw gun that I had here a minute ago? That's, uh, well, that's not done its job, has it? It's, it's lost it. So I've got a box full of screws, but they're in the room. Let's have a look. Let me just uh, get something here to unscrew with. Got a old Acer tablet here. I must have a screw in there somewhere. Oh, uh, yeah. Okay, so if I remove uh, the that to get the correct screwdriver. Where are we? we just need a basic star one, and that should do the job. That one there, or a Phillips, as some people like to call them. Um, so yeah, I mean, this is the length I'm, I'm at right now, and you can see it's pretty good, and it is magnetized. So it's holding on to the screw. That's pretty good. Uh, I suppose with a device like this, what you could do is bring it right down to the bottom and uh, actually it's quite comfortable it's got a bit of a grip on here as well for you you can see that little tiny little, little nipple sticking out there which which can help um, does the it, does, does it actually fit directly into the screwdriver no it doesn't so see that goes all the way in so you do need to use this adapter uh, for that so yeah, that's that's good. Uh, and what else? Uh, what the other thing I've noticed on the other side is that there's a. I'm sure there was something that. Uh, well, okay, you've got an ad adapter here, which we can use. I suppose that goes in there. That's magnetized as well. So we take that out. This should fit. No, it doesn't. So where does that go then? I have no idea where that goes. Does that go at the end of this? This is a flexible uh, end to it. So I've no idea where this goes. So I'm gonna to have to. I don't like looking at instruction manuals. I just like working things out for myself. So, but that should. Okay, that goes in there. Nope. So if someone can tell me where that piece goes. I'd appreciate it. Or should I look in the manual? Actually, let's. You know what? I'm not looking in the manual. I'll let one of you guys tell me. Um, where that piece goes because I have no idea that should that doesn't come out so what is that for where does it go that is a mystery it doesn't fit in there it doesn't that goes in there but then what about the other side it's got to go in somewhere hasn't it you can't take that out anyway I want to let you figure out figure that out um, but yeah we've got the the other side which is the, the flexible uh, part of the of the which doesn't Actually, we're not doing this wrong. Let's put that in there, and then this can go in there. This part goes in there, and again, you can. It actually works. Yeah, it's actually unscrewing the screw. Although it's not taking it out, it's not magnetized. I may be doing this wrong, but. Uh, Ah no, it is. So let's try and put that back in now and see if it uh, tightens up at an angle. So if we put it, just to give it a bit of a helping hand, but yeah, it works. Yeah, it's pretty good. So, and it's actually quite tight. So yes, I do like that. I just noticed that we've got a bit of flick at the back of the screen. Let me switch one of the lights off, which is the ceiling light. That disturbs the other lights. Apologies for that, I just noticed it. Normally I do work with that light off, but uh, I forgot to do that today. 
Yeah, so I think uh, it's a it's it's a, it's a pretty good um, toolkit. So uh, if you like the look of this, you know, I'd, I'd highly recommend one. Uh, apart from the other part, which I don't know where it goes, uh, we can, we'll figure that out at some point. Um, and then you've got your magnetizer here. So if you do have any components, uh, these are for. I think these are for Mac actually. Anyway, I'm actually going to use uh, this screwdriver my next repair, so uh, have a look at that when you get a chance. It's a, a Dell screen that's coming for repair, so uh, let's get into this. So, yeah, I hope you like the video. Uh, always like and subscribe. It keeps us uh, uh, kind of encouraged to make more videos and more content uh, for, for our viewers. But, yeah, thanks. Have a wonderful day and a great weekend.